Hey guys, this is Brett here from Store Envy today, and I'm here with another real quick tutorial video about how to add and delete shipping classes and shipping groups, and to kind of explain what the difference is between the two. So right off the bat, we're going to go to our store admin page once we've been logged in. And from our store admin page, we're going to be able to navigate through our administration side of our store. And as you can see, there's these tabs right across the top that most of you that have been using Store Envy already know about. And I'm going to show you guys real quick under products. I've created a tank top product that I'm going to use as an example today. Under settings, you'll notice that there is another little drop down menu bar here that we can access our shipping rates from. Now right here, first off displayed, are our shipping classes. These are essentially the difference between your standard shipping rates for shipping anything within the US and your international shipping rates for shipping things everywhere else. We try and keep it simple and that's why we have already included these as staple options for shipping classes. And if you, ha if you ever find yourself confused, there's a really helpful toolbar over here on the left that really accurately describes the difference between a class and a group. Now when we click on group tab, we see that I have already set up a hoodies and t-shirts tab for hoodies and t-shirts obviously. Now standard shipping on a hoodie for instance is $10 and $250 and for everywhere else is $15 and $5. And again these are just example numbers. You can, you can determine whatever shipping rates you want depending on where you are and how you're shipping your products. And again for t-shirts I've done the same thing and I'm going to show you real quick how to add a shipping group for those tank tops that I had mentioned that I set up. So we're just going to name this real quick a tank tops shipping group and for an example we're just going to set this first one for four dollars and each additional one for a dollar fifty and for everywhere else we're going to set it for six dollars and an additional two fifty and once we click save changes it will appear back on our shipping groups page and in turn under our shipping class page. So as you can see there's hoodies, t-shirts which I showed you both earlier and tank tops now appear and again the standard with the first item and additional items and everywhere else for six dollars and 250. Now once we go to shipping class we're gonna see again the standard and everywhere else but this includes the standard pricing for all these various items and the everywhere else pricing for all these various items. Very easy to read, very easy to navigate. So now that we've created the tank tops shipping group and have set it under each additional shipping class, we're going to go back to our products page and select the tank top. Now on this left hand panel, you'll notice that there's a shipping group option. Right now tank tops are set under t-shirts, which may be a little more, a little less, depending on what you set your price on than what you would like the shipping price to be set as. So since we just set up that tank top shipping group, we're going to click that and you'll notice that once that little bar goes away, it has in fact been changed and you don't actually have to hit save on anything. So now when you come back to your settings page under shipping rates again, you'll notice that the number of products listed under that shipping group has changed from the t-shirt group down to the tank top group where I just put that tank top product. And that is the easiest way to add a shipping group. Now say you delete a product and you no longer need that shipping group. So since I just moved the tank top from the t-shirt shipping group to the tank top shipping group, I have no need for this t-shirt group. So what I'm going to do is click on that and then right here at the top there's a delete option. And we'll say OK. And then it'll ask you again, and we'll say OK. And then right there, it will tell you that your shipping group was deleted. And now we just have the hoodies and tank tops. And that again will affect the appearance of your shipping classes page with the hoodies and tank tops shown there. So there you go. Now you know how to add a shipping group and make the changes to your shipping groups and to your items and how they ship.